to leave on a cruise to Alaska. Go to Alaska. <laughs> yeah. We're going to Alaska. We're going to Skagway, Ketchikan, Sitka. And we're gonna chill in Tracy Arm Fjord for a day. So mm. we're gonna see how it is. Is it just for old ladies? So this is a real easy one for us because we just have to jump in the car and hop on the ferry and we'll be right over in Vancouver. And then tomorrow our boat leaves, so we'll park our car in a parkade and jump on the sky train. And that's all we gotta do. Pretty simple, no airports involved on this trip. I don't have a key. Oh, yeah. Why not? Oh, you gave it to your mom. Are you ready go. to go, party boy? I'm ready to go. Off to the cruise ship we go. Holiday. Yeah. Going on a wintry holiday, right so, as spring comes. So if you notice I'm talking funny, it's because I have Invisalign in, so I'm still turning, learning how to talk. I might be slurring my words a little bit like I'm drinking or something. Maybe I'm drinking, maybe I'm not. Maybe I just got Invisalign. Good morning. Chris, it's time to get up. It's cruise day. just came into the room and we are looking out this way at the beautiful Vancouver mountains and uh, our room is nice although we've only really ever been on modern ships before and this one's definitely older if we can figure out how to turn the lights on what does this knob do yeah like this is really old technology well, the light kind of came on for a second oh no it's okay Something's happening. Oh, there right. we go. There we go. 90s technology right there. <laughs> this is the shower right here. As you can oh. see, this is where one would shower. This is the seat. Nice color tones. Mm -hmm. The sink and mirror with cups. Mm -hmm. And out here we have our view. This is my first time stepping out on the deck. There seems to be this big covered area here. I don't know what that's all about. But we got Vancouver all around here and some rusty old parts of the boat up there and some over there. Now, I'm not sure if we look cool or if we look like a couple of geeks, but we have our, our cruise cards and these little lanyards. Thank you, Marla. Thank you, Marla from Marla Coochie. Oh yeah, Marla, Travel best bets. definitely not geeks. We're really cool. Yeah, thank you. Thank you. <laughs> it was a bit of rush getting here. We haven't had breakfast yet. I'm so hungry. And I it's need like, to eat something. what time is it? Two in the afternoon. Mm -hmm. We got to get some food. We're gonna go check out maybe the uh, wind jammer and see what kind of food they got. See if they got some yum yum for me. These. First meal on the boat at the Windjammer. Check that out. Mm, there's a happy boy right there. <laughs> so here we are on the balcony of our room and we are in the port of Vancouver. I'm here too. <laughs> and we're just having a glass <laughs> of wine before we uh, set sail. And uh, it's going to be uh, interesting being on the screws, because I grew up in Campbell River, which is on Vancouver Island, and I grew up watching these ships cruise by my whole life, and I always wanted to be on one of these boats, and 
finally, it's happening. And I grew up in Nanaimo, and my Nana used to go on cruises all the time. And my Nan, grandparents, and they always talked about them. And so we're excited to do this cruise in honor of our grandparents, aren't we? Yeah, my grandma, she always wanted to, to go on one of these cruises, and she never made it. She died at the age of 92. So here's to you, Grandma. Is an Alaska cruise like for old ladies? Mm -hmm. Yeah, it is. There's lots of old ladies on this boat. To the side, to the back, oh, it's gonna be good times. Maybe. Yeah, maybe. We've been on two Caribbean cruises, and this one is the coldest already so far. So we're gonna see how it goes. Luckily, we brought winter coats. I feel like we're going to be comparing this cruise a lot to our previous cruises in the Caribbean. This is definitely the oldest boat and the smallest boat we've ever been mm -hmm. on. Smallest. And it has the least amount of activities, but not to sound depressing, we're going to try to make it really fun and show you what there is to see on this boat. Which isn't much because it's a small boat. <laughs> <laughs> and it's all 90s in here. Very 90s. Mm -hmm. So um, think teal. Think gold, think Copper. pink. Yeah, just like very nautical, like woods. You know, it's not modern, but it's, it's very nice. We're mm. not complaining. Bougie, baby. Yeah, it's not bougie. bougie. So, some of you might be surprised, but I was actually born a boy. So, in all seriousness, this is a cruise ship. It's not about having fun, it's about cruising seriously. So don't mess around and get your cruise on. If you're gonna cruise seriously, the first thing you need to do is have a glass of wine. Mm. So here we are sailing on our vintage boat from vintage. the Royal Caribbean. Vintage 2005. Radiance of the Seas. And uh, we're just a couple guys chilling. So we were expecting it to be freezing and maybe it still will be, but day two of our sailing and it's so nice and warm outside and beautiful blue skies and blue waters. It's beautiful. Fabulous, baby. Fabulous. Just absolutely fabulous. We still need to have a jacket for sure. Chomp. Uh, we did our morning workout so far, and I ate a little bit too much breakfast buffet, but uh, the toilet really hates me. <laughs> Doesn't it, Chris? And this one over here, you holy do. smokes. Three times this today already. Just destroyed the, the bathroom. I feel really, really sorry for our clean hey, lady. That's what happens when there's buffet, okay? You just eat and eat and eat and eat until you puke. Eat. Like a dog. Like a dog eating nonstop. So, yeah, basically. And then you just destroy it. <laughs> We've spotted a couple humpbacks out there. It's gonna be too far to see on the camera, but 
we can spot the the air ex exhaling from their uh, lungs the there. The nasal squirt. Their uh, sloppy uh, Joe squirting into the air. So we've been really lucky. We've had this perfect weather. And we got some whales off to the uh, side there. Yeah, he's not talking about me. Well, maybe I am. I don't know. <laughs> so we're just hanging out on our balcony and having a cocktail. And we got some whales out there, a couple humpbacks. Chris, what do you think? I think it's beautiful. I just saw an eagle, which was really a seagull. And uh, we're looking at some beautiful whales. And not the ones in the buffet. Hmm. Yeah, there's a lot of those in there. Because we brought along our trusty uh, binoculars so we can get a good view. Oh, there they go. See that? Yeah. There are ways out there. Hopefully we'll get a little closer. Oh, I missed that one. Mm. And uh, over that way, probably can't see that either, but that's uh, Haida Gwaii. We're just coming up on it. It was a beautiful day. We've had really good weather so far all the way up here. Here we are, we're in Ketchikan, Alaska, our first stop on our cruise. It is raining after having a really beautiful cruise up here in the middle of the ocean with just pure sun. It felt like it was the Bahamas. It was amazing. Now we're back to overcast, like cold rain. temperatures and rain. So we're a little slow to get moving this morning, but we're going to go uh, down there and check it out. So normally you want to book your excursions ahead of time so that way you can reserve a spot and know that you're getting on. We uh, haven't done any of that this time so we're just going to walk off, we're just going to wing it, walk off the ship and uh, see what we can find in Kitchikan, Alaska. Welcome to Alaska. Welcome to Alaska. We are in Alaska. 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 Gonna check out Alaska. Maybe we'll see some bears. Maybe we'll see some salmon. Maybe we'll see some trees and some wood and some mountains and some water and whatever else they have in Alaska. tour that is a van tour. A van tour, you see, behind us. So we just finished a tour of Ketchikan, Alaska, and the guy that was driving our tour was terrible. <laughs> and the van was dirty and smelled like fish, so we were just basically driving around in this old van with these people who didn't speak English. Yeah. And it would be like, oh, there's deer, and it was just a deer in a ditch. <laughs> it's supposed to be a wildlife tour, so it wasn't very good. Dolly's house. I heard she was the biggest warrior in town. How much fun are you having? So much fun. But well, look at that machine there. Mm -hmm. Big screw fell out of there. That's the prize. Good morning. It is, well, it's not quite 6.30 anymore, but we got up early at 6.30 in the morning to go on an excursion today. We are in Sitka, Alaska. And we are going on a boat tour, a three hour boat tour, and then we're gonna go to a bird sanctuary, and then we're gonna go see a rehabilitation center for grizzly bears. We just got off this ship, the Radiance of the Seas, and we are now on this ship, which is a small catamaran. We're gonna go out into the wild ocean. Dark. 
might be able to come up here on these. in that enclosure and in this closure over this way there's a couple of giant grizzly bears Gateway, Alaska, and we're gonna go see some dogs. There's three cruise ships here today. Hopefully, very busy in Skagway. Big ones. There's a big one, the Norwegian Bliss, and uh, that's it. That's all I have to say. That's all we've got to say. We're gonna go see some doggies, but we are having fun. And so far, we actually really love this experience. Like we're quite impressed being in all this like, wild ocean and nature. It's truly beautiful and we're very glad we came on this. So I would say it's not just for old people, but mainly old people on board. <laughs> and all the activities on the boat are totally geared towards old people. So fun fact, Chris's parents and aunt and uncle are gonna be getting on our cruise ship the day we get off. And they're going to be spending two weeks on the cruise. Two weeks two on the whole cruise. Weeks. So Which actually would be great. I think they're going to have a great time. <laughs> so we are at the Red Onion Saloon in Skagway, Alaska, and we are about to drink this beer, which is called the Sitka Ale, and it's brewed with the tips of Sitka trees and it gives it lots of vitamin C. Now we are offering a 20 minute brothel tour for just $10. She died in this room. Safe fit, perfect. Just be gentle, no paper cuts. <laughs> <laughs> well, we had a lovely day here in Skagway. We got to ride some doggies and we got to see some cute things. so far we, we love, love it, it. <laughs> this is the very first cruise for Royal Caribbean to Alaska since the pandemic began and uh, we noticed like these crew members they're standing outside on the decks as well looking out at these icebergs and glaciers that were passing and they're seeing all this stuff for the first time a lot of them are from other countries and um, our captain actually he was the same captain that was on our last cruise a couple months ago in the Caribbean and it's his first time up here as well so uh, hopefully he uh, can figure his way around without hitting anything so as we got off the ship and visited all these different towns uh, speaking with the local people they were telling us that our ship was the very first ship that has arrived their port since the beginning of the pandemic uh, so over two years a lot of these shops have been sitting there just vacant waiting for the tourists to return and so we were uh, very lucky to be the first guests of the season 
and the first guest in over two years. So we could really see that on the faces of these uh, of these local people, that how happy they were to uh, welcome us uh, to their community, and um, it uh, it really shows. So we supported as many businesses as we could. So when Chris bought his T-shirt, we're pretty sure those T-shirts were sitting on the rack for the last two years because it did smell a bit musty, and it makes you wonder too going into some of these shops and restaurants. You're thinking. Uh, is this food two years old? <laughs> beef jerky? Yeah, and I bought beef jerky. Like, how old was that? Is that two years old? Was that from before the pandemic? We're heading down to the ship's art auction to bid on things we don't need. This one's really excited, as you can see. He gets super excited at any type of auction, let me tell you. <laughs> $14,600. It's only money, ladies and gentlemen. This is a true legend. A $14,600 added to the mic. Golfing baby. Baby. Oh, oh. 